Hey guys, uh, today I want to show you uh, my bee heaters uh, inside of the beehive so you guys could see exactly how that works. Uh, before I open up the beehive, because obviously uh, the bees are in there, I'm going to explain you why the beehive works. See, when it gets really cold, bees tend to cluster up. This is uh, just an example box. They'll be clustered up together like this in a bowl shape right around the queen to keep her warm and to keep themselves warm what they basically do they walk around and vibrating and rubbing up up on one another to create a heat uh, what we did with the internal heater we brought the heater right next to them or right above them and that will help helps them to preserve a lot of energy instead of doing that now they're able to use the alternative way to warm up now uh, before before I open up also I'm gonna show you how that looks we got a um, if you look right over there you have a extension cord that's about 100 100 feet long so it's really good for a, a backyard beekeeping or if you have a close source of electricity then we have about six hives here and we have a uh, six heaters in here What's good about these heaters, again, they're very efficient, so they don't take a lot of power. Even six of them on one line barely cause any pressure on your electrical bill. So it actually works really good. Now, I'm not sure how active bees are. You might see me stung and running, running away, but we'll see how that's going to go. Uh, the hive is obviously sealed up by bees. Uh, let's see, let's try to open it. It's going to be pretty quick, so you guys be ready to uh, look into it and I'm going to try to talk about it. Uh, you could see, you could hear bees. Alright, here's a patty in there. And if I'm going to try to move a couple of these, there, there are our bees. Right there they are. Now mind you, this is January and we just went through a single digits temperatures which were about seven degrees at night which uh, in previous years they would definitely kill uh, my bees now this is the heater this is the heater that keeps about 70 degrees and the bees staying really close to it and it keeps them healthy it keeps them strong and it keeps them very active uh, let's see what else we was going to show you yeah as you could see we fill it up with water and because the cracks were still kind of large, we used the Play-Doh to seal it up so the bees wouldn't be drowning in there. I'm going to try to move one more frame here. Bear with me. Uh, they, they're still very active and they could fly out and try to sting us. So we're going to try to be very careful here. There they are. And as you could see, this is a very active and a pretty good size hive. Uh, for this uh, time of a year usually you lose quite a bit of bees by this time of a year but we are actually able to keep quite a few of them right here it's not a very good view here right here but uh here are the bees there's a few thousands of them and they're moving and then they are right here i'm sorry it's not a very good camera for that well, again, this heater stays about 65 to 70 degrees warm. And it keeps everything, keeps bees very active and uh, very healthy. There they are, they're getting kind of excited a little bit. And I'm thinking they're getting ready to fly out. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Well, uh, one of them fly out and maybe even sting one of our camera person. Uh, but it's okay. Again, if you have any questions um, or comments about this, let us know. We'll try to help you out with this. And uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.